the reports are showing that a lot of black people are upset with young black men. And this is crazy. Barack really pulled up like your pissed off grandfather. This ain't the right way to do it because it is vital to your survival. The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by Fat Liver Jones in this podcast do not necessarily reflect reality or facts. If you're seeking factual information, we strongly encourage you to do your own research. Much of what is said here is meant to be satirical and humorous. Enjoy the ride, but take everything with a grain of salt. You feel me? Back at it. Another episode. Rants with Aunt Damn It. This time, Barack Obama's in the building. That's right. Everybody's favorite or unfavorite first black president. Barry is in the house, and he sounds like somebody's pissed off father. Now, it's election season. Kamala versus Trump. It's crazy out here in the streets. And Barack and the Democrats in general, they're pissed off at black men because black men are probably undecided right now based off somebody's polls. I don't know. Pause. That was crazy. Anyway, Barack here he's talking to a group of black men and he just is basically telling them how pissed off that he is let's just get into it some, speak some truths if you don't mind because my understanding based on reports i'm getting from campaigns and communities is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities as we saw when I was running. Look at his face. He looks like somebody's pissed off grandfather. The reports are showing that the last four quarters of this whole election, like the numbers for the black men haven't turned up. <laughs> I love Barack, but yo, it is not a good look because if you want somebody's vote, you should be out here campaigning, not low key trying to pressure them. This is like some mob pressure. He used a lot of words in here to make niggas feel uncomfortable too. I see you, Barack. I know what you're doing. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced with the brothers. So the if you're mind, just for a second, I'm going to speak to y'all directly. And so make me take my belt off. When you have a choice that is this clear, <clears throat> when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you, went to college with you, understands the struggles and pain and joy that comes from those experiences, who's had to work harder and do more and overcome. See, Barack is he's using too many words to say what he wants to say and like when people do that it's just it's literally a waste of space I'm telling you the average person can spot bullshit through a sentence if you look at the way that people consume content and everything everything is rapid everything is fast if you're putting too many words on top of things you're losing interest people don't care about any of the extras just the meat and potatoes of the fucking content and achieves the second highest office in the land she became vice president. And is putting forward concrete proposals to directly address the things that are vital. Vital? <laughs> I'm sorry, Barack. Sorry, sir. Yo, this is too much, man. And so this whole conversation was right before Kamala laid out her plan for black men. You know, damn well, the Republicans in the House is not signing off on anything that says black man, nothing. Like, what is wrong with y'all? What they're saying is that this is not tied to the two, but like, come on, bro. From housing to making sure that our, our, our mothers and our fathers and our grandparents Vital. can afford medicine and, and making sure that we are dealing with prices that are too high and rents that are too high and, and are committed to 
is committed to making this nigga is stuttering yo if y'all know when people are not confident in what they're saying they will stutter it's a real fucking thing and like he might have a stuttering problem i don't know they said the same thing about biden but what i'm saying is when you're confident in what you're saying and you believe in what you're saying it flies we're seeing him think in real time as he's talking to these young black men i get what he's doing but this ain't the right way to do it making sure that we maintain the affordable care act so everybody's got help here and cares about things like education and entrepreneurship in our neighborhoods and that's on one side and on the other side you have someone who has consistently shown disregard not just disregard yo these niggas hate trump yo <laughs> like yo he a wild motherfucker like i don't i listen i wouldn't be standing too close to trump anyway yo they really dislike this guy i don't know what he did who he pissed off but like when they talk about his name they just say it's just the words that he's using man it's just just too funny for the communities but for you as a person And you're thinking about sitting out? Mm. <laughs> oh, look at his little snitch as he said, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe I'm tweaking, but that's just what it looks like to me. If they don't even want to vote, like, why are you fighting so hard for this vote? You know, <coughs> Cousin Pookie might be. Might be. <laughs> Cousin Pookie. Really? Really? Did he really just fucking do <laughs> And you're coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses. Look at him folding his arms. How you mad like the dad that left to go get cigarettes eight years ago and now you come back in the house, niggas is grown and they wearing Tim's and shit and you mad because there's fucking dirt on the carpet. Nigga, where the fuck you been? Because part of it makes me think, and I'm speaking to men directly, part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Mm -hmm. No, that's not. Well, listen, I can't speak for all men. I have no problem with that. Listen, I have no problem with anybody crazy enough to decide that they want to be the president of the United States. That fucking job is insane. Like, you know how many people you responsible for? I ain't trying to do all that shit. <laughs> like, you got to be a crazy motherfucker to decide. You know what? I think I want to be president. And I think anybody you are talking to in a barbershop, anybody you are talking to. Oh, that's hate. In your house. That's your hate. family at a, at, a, at church who is coming with that kind of attitude, I think you have to ask them, well, how can that be? Because the women in our lives have been getting our backs this entire time. Nobody's questioning that. See, I just don't like how y'all spin the narrative. I mean, I guess there are some people that have that bias. People are just brainwashed. 95% of politics is brainwashing motherfuckers. Duh. But you told motherfuckers to go to school and get educations. Niggas got brains. Niggas can think. Niggas can see. Niggas can add. Niggas can comprehend. Like They've been raising us and working and having our backs. And... When we get in trouble and the system's not working for us, they're the ones who are out there marching and protesting. And so now you're thinking about sitting out or even supporting somebody mm. who has a history of denigrating you. Yeah, then they paint him. Then they paint him as a Nazi. A sign of strength, because that's what being a man is. Putting women down. That's not acceptable. Barack really pulled up like your pissed off grandfather. I'm telling you, he is mad that y'all not out here voting for Auntie Kamala. He's like, yo, y'all need to go out there and get in them booths and make sure she gets in this house because it is vital to your survival. Now, my take away from all of this, if you are expecting to give someone your vote, you should be very, very, very critical about the things that they say and they do because if they have your interests, that's like having your life in their hands.
Actually, I might be able to be president. Unless it's on some threatening shit, most people don't give a fuck what you thinking, how you feel, whatever. Just don't put your hands on me. That's all a lot of motherfuckers really ask for, especially black men. I don't think we're really asking for too much other than just, like, keep the cops from killing us. Out of all of the shit that they're proposing, like, I don't even think this is on the agenda. I mean, that's my big issue. It don't even matter at this point. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Is Barack, like, right to be sitting here talking to these black men like this because what you're doing is vital to your survival no it wasn't cool but yo rants with ant damn it catch y'all next time fucking out of here